All right, so tonight the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins kick off Fantasy Football Week 2. I'm going to discuss uh, some of the storylines for this one. It's the Fantasy Sports Boss. Hit that subscribe button. Their subscription numbers are going through the roof. Make sure you're part of all the fun for Fantasy Football Week 2. Um, now, as far as tonight is concerned, the, the intrigue lies in two areas, the Miami running game and the Buffalo receiving game. Now, if you're a fantasy owner of Don Kincaid, clearly you have battle scars after the one catch dud uh, of a week ago. Um, and, and certainly questioning if you overpaid for him. Now, I've discussed multiple times. I did a video a week before the season started thinking, discussing how I thought Kincaid was overpriced. And usually when we all like a certain player, he tends to disappoint. And certainly that was ugly last week. And the concern I have is that historically speaking, going through last year as well, when Daw uh, Dawson Knox is on the field and healthy, Kincaid's numbers take a dive. Now, last year, Kincaid did his best work when Knox was out, uh, out of the lineup with injury. So maybe that's just the arrangement. That's how it's going to be. Now, the big thing going into last week was which uh, fantasy, uh, which receiver would become the most fantasy relevant with Stefan Diggs and Dave Davis out of town and tons of targets up for grabs. Turned out to be Keon Coleman as the leading receiver. Khalil Shakir scored. Curtis Samuel was hardly involved. Now, as far as this week, you start Coleman as a wide receiver three. The other two, I would bench both of them in PPR leagues. Uh, there's, I want to see if there's any sort of consistency. There may not be. This could be a situation where there's a different leading receiver for Buffalo every week. Uh, certainly, you're going to put Kincaid in there. Hopefully, he has a better game this week. I think he will. Um, but we just got to see. Like, I, Will some somebody emerge? Could it be Keon Coleman? We got to see. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of points scored tonight. There's, that's typically the norm between these two teams. So um, that's what I'm focusing on. As far as the Miami running backs, Devin Achan, a game-time decision. Raheem Moser is out. I think Jeff Wilson is going to be the primary ball carrier if Achan is out, which I expect him to be out. Um, and again, just more questions about whether he can just hand up, uh, uh, handle NFL pounding. Um, do the Jalen Wright get involved? Maybe, uh, certainly he will, but to uh, what kind of extent? I'm not sure. I don't think they're going to trust him this early in the season. It's going to be Jeff Wilson who did some good work last week. He's been a dependable back when he's gotten on the field and he's played. So, um, that's, those, those are the two main topics I'm looking, um, uh, to, to, uh, see what happens tonight. I will be, uh, vlogging during the game if anything happens as always. So hit that subscribe button and more videos coming soon.